Welcome, and thank you for coming to this momentous occasion. Today, we are witnessing the processional of the 137th graduating class of this academy, the class of 2367. This academy was started back in 2230. It was then that Commodore Baskers set the standard that we continue today. Each of you should take pride in your accomplishments. Everyone has acted in valor, excelled in excellence, and surpassed all of our expectations. As such, this class will be remembered throughout history as the role model for all other classes in the future. Please take this time to give yourselves a well round of applause. There was, however, one of you who went above and beyond. So today we wish to acknowledge this exceptional student. Normally it is customary for myself to make this presentation, but this year we're going to break tradition. At the request of Commodore Hartworth, due to his special connection with this student, has asked to present this most distinguished award. Commodore Hartworth. Thank you, Deborah. Well, I think we all know who the winner is, eh, John? Yeah, and the village idiot would figure this one out, because he's your dad. Congratulations, John. As I watched this class throughout the years, I knew it was going to be a special one, because we had some of the most bright and talented cadets this academy has ever had the privilege to teach. But there was one who distinguished himself far above even this outstanding group of cadets. That is why I'm here tonight to honor a certain individual who reminds me of myself and more. It gives me great pleasure to present the Galactic Fleet Medal of Honor, as well as the immediate promotion to Lieutenant to a young man who has not only earned the highest, marks this institution has ever held, but he has personally earned my respect and admiration. I now present this to a young cadet who I'd be honored to call my son. New Year Martin, would you approach me? students. Thank you, sir. But it wasn't just me. Without you and the other instructors, I would not be where I am today. Well, I wish all the cadets held that point of view. Unfortunately, I feel some of them, once they have finished their training, feel they have surpassed their instructors. The truth is, their training has only just begun. Commodore Hartworth, could you please come and tell us about the Gamma Maneuver? Thank you. I'll be right there. Well, New Year, I'll catch up with you later.
The death of Commodore Hartworth has taken a toll on me. I am preparing for departure to the UGF Recreal. Computer, pause. Enter. New Year. How are you holding up? As well as expected. I know how very close you were to him. We both know you would want you to move on with your life. Um, I uh, have a gift here with me that he wanted to give to you. Uh, of course, he hoped to present it personally. Yeah. It's a triolite crystal. Yes, the last of its kind from the beta system. It was something he treasured very greatly. As will I. That's uh, not all he wanted to bestow upon you. He had great aspirations for your future. So much so that he planned on giving you an incredible opportunity. An opportunity? Yes. You've heard of the spoof operation? Of course. Everyone's talking about it. They're saying it's going to be a great addition to the Galactic Fleet. What about it? Yes, it is going to be a great asset. And, well, he saw you as the very man to head up this operation. Me? I don't even have the experience. True. But the Commodore had the utmost confidence in your skills and abilities, as do I. If you accept this assignment, it'll mean an immediate promotion to Commander. It's all just happening so fast. I don't know. Well, if you don't think this is the right timing, we could always give this position to Lieutenant Barnes. No. If Commodore Hotworth wanted me to take this assignment, then to honor his death, I accept. Excellent. When do I stop? Tomorrow, report to Hangar Bay 3 at 800 hours sharp. It's there that she'll meet your new team members. Good luck. Commander. Thank you, Admiral. Good.
something. Lieutenant Matthews thinks all I can do is physical therapy, and that it's the end. I'm here to prove her wrong. Admiral Jam wants to speak to you. Understood. We'll finish up here immediately and beam up. Wrong. There's an urgent message awaiting us on the shuttle from Admiral Jam. We need to finish up here immediately and beam up. We're done here, Commander. The disease bacteria is ready for transport. Excellent. Commander Lazutu was not over-exaggerating when he said you do superb work. Thank you, sir. It is an honor to work with you. I've heard only the best. Lieutenant Matthews, be us up. Welcome back, sir. I've recalibrated the sensor ray and stabilized the magnetic converter. Great work. I think you're a perfect match for the job and a great addition to the team. Thank you, sir. Should I put out Majin on, on screen? Yes, Lieutenant. Admiral Jam. The Debaris 3 outbreak has been contained, and we're bringing the bacteria back to headquarters. Good. And how are the new members holding up? As well as expected. They're adapting to their new positions very well. But I must say, I still miss Lieutenant Fox and Lieutenant Houser very much. If only I had... You, you. you cannot blame yourself for their deaths. Both Lieutenant Fox and Lieutenant Hauser knew the risk that they were taking when they accepted the mission, even when you advised against it. They will always be remembered in the Galactic Fleet for their bravery and as true protectors of peace. Thank you, sir. Now we must refocus. An urgent situation has just developed. Just minutes ago, the President of the Galactic Fleet was taken hostage at a peace conference on Riken 6. As of right now, the identity of the terrorists are unknown, but we have received reports that they are heavily armed. It is your mission, Spook, to head immediately to Riken 6, and at all cost, save the President along with all the other delegates. I don't need to tell you that if something were to happen to the President, the Galactic Fleet would dissolve and a huge shift of power would occur in the galaxy. I wish I didn't have to place such a heavy burden on your shoulders, New Year, especially with your new team, but I know if anyone can do this job, it's you. You will not fail you, Admiral. Good luck, Commander. Admiral Jan, out. Lieutenant York, I want you to assemble a security pack. Something tells me we're going to do it. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Matthews, I want you to find all you can on the people of Riken 6. I'm curious if we'll be in this mission alone or if they're going to help us. Lieutenant Matthews, set course for Riken 6. Light speed 10. Aye, Commander. Sir. The security pack is ready. Equipped with four type laser pistols, full beam scanners, and emergency medical kits. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Matthews, what have you found out about the people of Riken 6? According to our databases, the people of Riken 6 are a very primitive, peaceful race. They still use gasoline driven cars and have architecture equivalent to our 21st century. I recommend zero contact with the natives, as it might interfere with the natural cultural development. Agreed. What I find curious is why a peace conference would be held at such a primitive planet. It was the only neutral planet of equal distance from all the systems, sir. Lieutenant York, how far are we from Riken 6? 1.3 hours, sir. Inform me when we enter the Riken system. Sir. 
created the prototype emergency transport module. They can be deemed useful in a dire situation. Can they beam through any substance? That's the only problem I haven't been able to solve yet. So far, I've only been able to beam through steel. Nothing thicker. That's a start. Good work, Lieutenant. Sir, we're approaching the Riken system. So to one third, Lieutenant York, and ray shields. We'll maintain orbit just off their moon, and then we'll transport down to the field just outside the complex where the hostages are being held. Lieutenant Matthews, place us in auto orbit. Yes, sir. Placing ship on auto orbit. All right. Let's beam down. Lieutenant York, have you entered the coordinates into the transporter system? Aye, sir. I have the transporter set to automatically activate. It should put time period clothing on us during transport. Engaging transporter. Say your pistols to start. <laughs> Lieutenant, what is the best route to take? Well, according to our sensor scans, this can't be. What is it, Lieutenant? The complex is nearly 30 kilometers north by northeast. What? Lieutenant, I thought you told me you put the right coordinates in the transporter system. Well, I did. But there must have been some magnetic interference I hadn't accounted for. Very well. We're not going to get anywhere just standing here. Let's proceed that way. Oh. Lieutenant, what are you thinking? You're drawing attention to yourself, and we can't afford that to happen. Ice. Uh, Lieutenant, are you okay? This is pain. Suffering. I think something has happened to one of us. In that case, we must hurry our pace. Come. Lieutenant Matthews, what do you suspect these buildings are? They appear to be government buildings. I suspect they still are government taxes and officials. I'm glad that we were wise enough to get rid of those centuries ago. Yes, ever since we made those changes, our world has lived in peaceful harmony. So we're approaching the coordinates. The complex is dead ahead. I'm picking up elevated levels of terrain. This place is set to blow. What? Is it a time detonation? Nah. Setups like these are usually controlled by a main switch. Alright. Once we're in the complex, I want you to go and locate the explosives and disable them. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Matthews and I will find the President and the other hostages. Understood? I believe the only way in is through the store. All right. Lieutenant York, do you think you can open it? Aye, sir. Good work, Lieutenant. We'll follow you in. Right. Oh, yes, yes. What happened here? Oh, several men in black, they lost me. And they was looking for a um, delegate. Where was the peace conference being held? Um, back there on this floor. Thank you. Do you have strength to get out of here? Uh, I think so. Yeah, and, I, I, and they was looking for delegate. 
There you go. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Can you explain the gel bits? Lieutenant uh. York, I want you to go and search out these rooms. The first priority is to find the bomb detonator. Muma, Lieutenant Matthews, you and I will go and check these rooms for the hostages. You'll never get away with this! Let us go! Yeah. Shut up! Let's go! Hey! Ah. Take that! <laughs> Stop right there! What? Ah. Who did this to you? Oh. We don't know, but they were after the delegates. We tried to stop them, but they overpowered us. Where's the conference room from here? It's about five doors down, but be careful. There are a lot of terrorists and they're heavily armed. Don't worry about us, we'll be fine. Get out of here as quickly as you can. I'm reading four life signs ahead. Only four? There were originally six. The two missing hostages must have been the ones I felt. The pain was so severe it had to be more than one. I hope we aren't too late to save the others. before presence is made aware. Come, oh, you're so close to the hostages. Sir, it's in here. Mr. President, on command of EMR, we're here to rescue you. Thank you, Commander. For a while there, I think no one was going to come. Do you know who did this? I'm afraid not. The men who captured us are by mass. But I don't know this, one man. I believe he'll be the leader. He stated he won the competition if he didn't need it. Do you know why he would say that? I don't, but this is very concerning. Mr. President, there were six of you. What happened to the other two? The leader became restless. He needs someone to bet his anger on. Hurry, we must go before he returns. Correct, Commander. The day you thought you saw me put away in prison, my men, including some in high places, were plotting my escape in ways no one would notice. Now I've returned to make you pay for the death of my father! Admiral Rogers? Lieutenant Commander Green? You both are involved with this criminal? He's not a criminal, New Year! He's an idealist with undeniable logic! Yes, New Year. He has great plans for spoof. You call killing innocent civilians great plans for spoof? Well, I admit, it was a bit excessive. But he works with good intentions, New Year. He wants spoof to flourish. You of all people should respect that! I don't know what he's been telling you both, but his plan has always been to gain power, not peace. And a path to power is always a violent, ruthless path. I have heard enough! It doesn't matter what my true goals are. All that matters is that I get my revenge. I was supposed to be commander of Spoof, but instead, you always make me look bad in front of the other cadets, as well as the board. It's your fault that I've turned to this way of life. What does this have to do with us delegates? Everything. Without you, the Spoof unit would never have come, 
and I would never have had my chance for revenge! protocol. He got worse. I got better. Nice move. Nice. Got ability. He's good in a fighter. You got this. Get up. I dare you. Let go now, where the delegates die. Well, I see we're still in a cargo room. I want a guard posted at every door. They don't leave. Aye, sir. Oh, wait, I have some intel. Spook has come to save us. I must tell you later. Is it true that the spoof units really come to help rid us of the terrorists? Yes. I saw them being taken captive. Unfortunately, they're going to kill them all. What? what? No. no. Yes, no. kill them all! No. Kill them all! No. Kill them all. Are you sure? Yes. I saw them being taken captive with my own eyes. It's not good. They were our only hope. Aren't you willing to do anything to save them? Aren't you? Wait! What could we do? There's only six of us. We barely have enough weapons for two of us. I have a plan. You just hear me out. Okay. What's your plan? I saw a wardrobe room in the complex. If we could, if we could just get our hands on a couple of the delegate robes, we could smuggle some of the weapons back to the school community. Even if we could get inside. Even if we could get our hands on some robes. We don't even know where they're being held. Yes, we do. I heard the leader say he was going to put them in the cargo room. Sir, we must try to save them. As you said, there are only Okay. We'll do this your way. I'll go. 
opposing truth. You're with him. On behalf of the Righteous Six People, please accept my most sincere apologies for what has happened at this peace conference. It's not your fault, Ambassador. No one could have predicted what has happened today. But at least I could have increased security. Then perhaps this crisis could have been avoided. Even then, I do believe we would have had the same outcome. Oh. Who are you? I don't recall any of you being part of my original delegation. We aren't. Oh, my name is Stephis, and I am a member of the Resistance Force on Rocket 6. Really? Are you here to help us? Of course. You are the our only hope for freedom on Rocket 6. Here, have these. Thank you. We need to get ourselves and the other delegates out of here. Safety is priority. Any ideas? I have an idea, sir. We'll have a delegate pretend a medical emergency, and then when a guard comes in, we'll jump. Make it so. Lieutenant York, place yourself behind the door. There. Well, John, it seems you won't be safe for dinner. Think you can escape that easily? I have this building set to explode. Were you able to find the disabled explosives? Nah, I was staying cabin before I had a chance to. Alright, get the delegates to safety. I'll stay behind and hold them off. Hey, are you crazy? We are leaving without you. Get out of here, that's an order. I said. A stun setting? for saving us, Commander. I owe you my life. You're welcome, Mr. President. If you're ever in trouble again, you can count Understood. on us. Mr. President, I just received a communication that a transport has been sent to shuttle you and the elder delegates back home. Thank you, Lieutenant. Well, I guess we better be getting back to our shuttle. I'm sure there's a lot more things to be solved. Good luck, Commander. I hope to see you soon. Thank you all for helping us escape. It would not have been possible without you. Yes, Commander. No, it is I who should be thanking you. Because you and your people have freed us from the terrorists. Liberty and freedom can now be restored to the planet. We are forever indebted to you. I hope we meet again. Something tells me we will. And now, have safe for you. Foreign shuttle, three, two, beam. Sir, it appears while we were away, we received a subspace message from UB and two. It appears they're having treaty disputes and are in need of some assistance. Understood, Lieutenant. Send a subspace coded message to Admiral Chan informing her what has taken place and where we are proceeding next. Aye, sir. Lieutenant York, set course for UBN 2, light speed 4. Aye, sir. 